So a 35-year-old male comes to the clinic with complaints of a burning sensation when urinating and multiple painful penile lesions. Vital signs are stable, but exam shows multiple red lesions on the penis, but no discharge is noted, and there are no swollen lymph nodes. What is the treatment? So I'll let you answer, and then I'll explain. Okay, so the answer is D. So this patient is dealing with HSV2, otherwise known as herpes simplex virus, number two. So in this case, there are multiple painful vesicles and ulcers, and typically patients can have a fever and they can have dysuria, which is what the problem was talking about, where you have pain with urination or a burning sensation with urination. So discharge is usually absent, just like in this problem. And then the first line treatment is acyclovir, which is an antiviral agent because this is a virus. And so just like in this uh, question, so essentially the patient was coming in with a burning sensation known as dysuria. And um, this is also another big clue, the multiple painful penile lesions. So typically you might hear the, the vesicles. So it might be described as um, a dew drop on a rose petal, but they're not going to use that type of buzzword on the exam. They're typically going to be a little bit more vague about that. So going on to the other choices, so amoxicillin. So amoxicillin is a penicillin derivative, and it's typically used for bac- it is used for bacterial infections because that's how the mechanism of action works for penicillin and its uh, derivatives. So essentially, it binds to penicillin-binding proteins on the bacteria, and then it can help uh, inhibit the production of the cell wall and therefore cause apoptosis. So next is azithromycin. So azithromycin is a macrolide, and macrolides, and in the context of STIs, they're typically used to treat chlamydia. So chlamydia typically does present with discharge, but if you remember this patient, he did not, and, and otherwise, uh, they're usually asymptomatic. And so this is when azithromycin would be used, and, but it wouldn't be used for HSV. And the other thing is uh, chancroid. So chancroid is the one thing that can be confused with HSV since it also presents with a painful genital ulcer. So the thing, how you distinguish both of them is chancroid is usually a single lesion, whereas HSV is two, and they'll typically describe it as different. So this will be an ulcer, whereas the other one will have uh, multiple red bumps or red lesions. And so the other thing is inguinal lymph adenopathy. And so, uh, so remember in the question, the patient did not have lymph adenopathy and chancroid um, can have it as well. And so moving on, ceftriaxone. So ceftriaxone is kind of similar to uh, chlamydia in the sense that uh, it treats gonorrhea, or I'm sorry, gonorrhea is uh, t- uh, similar to chlamydia and ceftriaxone uh, treats gonorrhea. And ceftriaxone and azithromycin are usually administered together just because gonorrhea and chlamydia usually go together. And they're both asymptomatic. So since you, you're treating for one, you might as well treat for the other unless you specific, specifically have a test that shows you that you have one or the other. And, and, so, uh, and it excludes the other one. And so in this case, similar to chlamydia, you can also have penile discharge or you can just be asymptomatic. Um, so that's the problem with these uh, STIs since you can inadvertently give it to people. And so that's why you typically want to uh, counsel the patient and also uh, you also want to test their spouses or partners. And typically you want to give both um, ceftriaxone and azithromycin together. All right, and so once again, ceftriaxone can be used to t- treat a, a chancroid. And so once again, uh, just to quickly recap, a chancroid is typically one ulcer versus HSV, which is multiple. And then the final drug that was listed was linolzin. And so this is the big gun. So you typically use this when an infection is very severe um, in general. So you typically use it for MRSA, which is methicillin-resistant staph aureus, or you can use it for vancomycin resistance. So that's when you know it's pretty serious, when the bacteria is also resistant to vancomycin, because vancomycin is supposed to be a big gun as well. And then 
um, this is when both of, when uh, vancomycin and uh, penicillin fail. So this is when you would use that. So in summary, to answer this question, uh, essentially you had to differentiate uh, between the different STIs. What clued you into HSV is the multiple painful part and also the description that it's uh, multiple red lesions. So those two things. And then once you knew the diagnosis of HSV2, you know that uh, you have to know the third part, which is uh, it's treated with acyclovir. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.